Hi YouTube, please give me a moment while I connect to Facebook. We will be getting started shortly. And I think we should be live on Facebook. Hi everybody. Welcome to the Strategic Swing Trader. I am Sami Abasad, Director of Education at T3 Live. Hope you are doing well. Hope the year is off to a good start. Um, before we start, as always, a standard required disclaimer to let you know that trading is risky and that whatever we discuss is for educational purposes only. If you'd like to download a copy of my free ebook, link for that is in the description. Also, uh, I dropped uh, the watch list that I'm about to review with you in the description and if you have any questions for us be sure to reach out info at t3live.com and if you find benefit in today's video make sure to hit that like button if you're new to our channel be sure to subscribe and with that out of the way let's get started we're gonna go over the market and I'm gonna go over my swing ideas for next week so uh, the market topped out no doubt about it uh, this was different. In fact, uh, as of the end of the year, I had like I had a record amount of positions, like 80 positions, and uh, within a day or two, that number dropped to like uh, 20, and then the next day it was down to like a dozen. You know, uh, more maybe more than a dozen. But the point is, I I thought this was gonna be the top, and uh, there are various reasons. I discussed it live in the room. Um, at the time uh, but right now you know this is a bearish pullback it put us below the mo the 20 period moving average that blue line and every attempt to bounce has failed so what we need to do before we get bullish on the market is we need that downtrend to end uh, you see that hourly chart hourly downtrend we need that hourly downtrend to end it can end through a gap up we get a gap up that clears resistance great or we can get a pop and then the next pullback holds a higher low let me take out my annotation tool so if we get say we get a pop like so that would be the break of the trend then the next pullback needs to hold a higher low and be at the 20 ma that would be good or we get a gap up like i said uh, but we need to break the downtrend on the hourly and take out the 20 on the daily but most most important thing is to break the downtrend until we break the downtrend we shouldn't really get too bullish i am uh, it's funny i i knew this was the top not so much because the market looked so toppy it's because all the small caps that i was in that i was tracking they started to break down and the, the patterns all of a sudden shifted from being bullish to bearish or you know like I said started to break down that's how I kind of knew this was the top uh, of course you never know for sure until until it happens but the point is uh, I am starting to see some bullishness come back into the market not in the market itself but in the individual stocks okay so like I said it, the the small cap stocks started to turn bearish right before the market topped now I'm starting to see some stocks turning a little bit bullish. Um, so, you know, we may be near a bottom, but we, w we don't know until we break that trend. We won't know until we break the trend. Now in terms of support resistance, okay, here's the next major support. We know what it is. It's like 382 on the queues. Here's the minor support. We're not there yet either. So the top of the base is minor support in an uptrend. The bottom of the base, is major support so we need to hold I thought it was three yeah 382.66 we need to hold 382.66 for sure on the queues the spy is gonna be the same okay the spy is actually more bullish the support is way down here the top of the base is still far away so the spy hasn't come in as much and the IWM is more bearish than the queues or about the same but probably a little bit more okay so similar pictures except that the spy is definitely more bullish than the Qs and the IWM. In terms of the swing ideas, uh, I dropped a list of my favorite watches 
in the description but I can't go over it all it's like about 25 symbols so I picked about a dozen or so symbols that I'm gonna go over right now okay if you're a subscriber to the strategic swing trader you can log on to your customer portal access that Google sheet and you will see which plays with the entry stops and targets that I picked for Monday uh, or you can just wait for the email to go out which will go out Monday morning before they open here's some of the ideas that I like uh, Airbnb admittedly it doesn't look that good on the daily the monthly though is transitioning the weekly is a buy setup so it would be the entry for it would be over 13703 stop under 13080 it's a weekly buy setup which means a longer term trade not a short term trade AQN I can stay on the weekly if I wanted to because we have a transition a breakout on the weekly chart you can also see the monthly it's like a one two three on the monthly chart doji bar so above it stop below it okay and targets gonna be about eight bucks maybe seven on the daily it's like 725 for target one I would say so that's the AQ one arc is a little too aggressive I think but what I like about arc is that for me arc is more like an index really and so you'd be getting into almost like the IWM here uh, and notice the monthly this is a beautiful monthly chart is it ready to go right back up and resume that uh, that move that, uh, that it put in uh, in November and December is it quite ready I don't know about that okay but this is a very nice chart it's like Roku it looks very similar is it ready to go back up maybe not quite but this is keep an eye on it and it's not just Roku and, and I mean there's a million Oscar looks amazing twist frog and those that's off the top of my mind there's Wix right pins look at those monthly charts and that's just again that's just off the top of my mind I'm not reading a list there's so many of them but again what I like about ARK it's uh, the ARK ETF is that it's like an index it has so many names in it and it, an idea would be to take a shot at it if it takes out 49.50 okay stop would be under those three bars now there's the arc there's also you that looks similar but more bullish probably on the daily chart so over the base stop under it there's Carvana it looks a little similar but not as good maybe over the base stop under there's the NCLH similar concept over the base so they fell a lot and below, broke the 20 normally you want to play long at the 20 not below it so long over the base stop under it only because they look good on the longer time frames that it would be worth maybe worth a shot okay so I, I mentioned arc I mentioned Carvana I mentioned I went over the U went over the NCLH because they all look alike and there's more there's a few more symbols but I don't remember them now next on the list is the ATMB and it's basically a daily base breakout I wish we didn't have that topping tail because the topping tail makes makes the stop bigger like we could have just entered right here now we have to wait for the top of the tail to get taken out before getting in it stop right here and target right there on the ETMB looks nice looks good excess excess is like Airbnb it does not look so good on the daily but if you look at the monthly I mean that's a beautiful monthly buy setup so I'd love to be in it unfortunately it's already triggered on Friday so that should have been the day to get it doesn't look so good but it's also a longer term play long right here stop right here okay so over Friday's high stop under Thursday's low fold is another one that looks good on the monthly uh, the fold so you see the monthly chart that looks good fold hourly says it's not quite ready the daily is beautiful it's right at the 20 I don't know if it's gonna work or not but I like the longer term chart on fold when it uh, when the setup when the stock is setting up on the monthly charts I'm often more aggressive with it because if I get it and it works then I can keep it for weeks and months okay whereas if it's just a daily setup on the daily time frame not the weekly not the monthly okay I might keep it you know three to five days I might keep it a little bit longer but you know I'm not gonna keep it weeks and months where you know it might end up be it might end up uh, becoming a really big play 
So fold looks good on the monthly. Uh, the IRWD is a healthcare stock and has a base breakout, over the base stop, under the base. There's a few healthcare stocks that I like right now that are not on this list necessarily, but just off the top of my mind, the IRWD is one of them. The BSX is another one, is a base breakout on the hourly, but I don't like it as much as the IRWD. The CYH is a, is a biotech. Look at the monthly double bottom, but it's right into the declining 20 on the monthly. That's the problem. If it was extended, if it was far below the declining 20, it'd be even better. But that's a monthly double bottom. So, you know, there's I, IRWD, BSX, CYH, I don't know what else. Those are all healthcare. Um, the MU is a W pattern or is a buy setup. Like it higher, over 84.26, stop under $81. The bigger, biggest problem with the MW is the big stop. The tighter the stop, the more shares I can t take, the bigger my size. Uh, in this case, it's a big stop, but I like it a lot, over 84.30 by $81. NCLH we talked about. Oscar, we actually looked at the monthly chart, but the daily has a buy setup. It's not the prettiest buy setup, but long over $9, it's 8.96. Call it nine, stop under 849. And it's a beautiful monthly chart. QS had an amazing move on Thursday and, um, and now has an hourly buy setup. Now, the pullback on the QS it was pretty deep on, fr on Friday, started on Thursday. We actually shorted it in the room and it worked uh, on Thursday, not Friday. And uh, so, but now has a setup over the base right here, over $9. It's not quite nine, but oh no, I'm sorry. It's over, I thought it was nine. It's eight, 876. Stop under 831. Why did I think it was nine bucks? I'll have to go back to my, no, I mean, look at my multiple time frames. but over eight, 876, stop under 830. The AT&T, okay, so check this out. This is called pyramiding or adding to a position. I called the AT&T three, the, we have three different positions in the, in the AT&T. Uh, one entry was right here. Another entry was on the breakout and another entry was on this, uh, once it took out the tail. So three different entries. So one, two, and then three right here. There's a fourth one now over the base, which is 1751, I think 52, stop under 1709. There's a fourth one. Uh, we, the same with the VZ, but the VZ got out of it over here. Uh, I don't know if it was over here or over there. And then I just got back in it on Friday, okay, on the base breakout on the hourly chart. But at and is, is a much bigger position because we have three different entries in it. But VZ also looks good, except that it's too late if you're not in because it, it already printed a big red bar, a green bar on Friday. The TAST, it's not a tight base, but over the base, stop all the way under seven bucks, and it has a nice monthly chart. Oh, you know, it's a little late, but it's really, really bullish. That's the TAST. Twist has a monthly chart, a nice monthly chart, and a daily buy setup. Twist was in it, but trailed out. I don't know where exactly, but Twist was also a, a play. Um, so long over 34.20 by $32, 32.09 as a re-entry. On the on the twist, the U we talked about is daily buy setup also, and the unit, I like it a lot on the weekly and the monthly chart, especially the weekly. It's a weekly base breakout. It reminds me of the UIS, which was on my list on uh, for, for yesterday was in the newsletter actually as an idea, but was not called as an official play, so I ended up not doing it. The UIS, a similar con similar setup, com totally similar, but. Unit is a real estate stock. UIS is probably biotech. Oh no, UIS is information technology, so it's different. So the issue with the unit, again, is that because it's real estate, it might not move all that much. That's my issue with it. Otherwise, long over six, stop under 550 or so, 560. Here's the bearish list, very, you know, just a few items. The MPW actually is not that good, but you see how it's been, it's based most of the day on Friday. So if it continues to base after the clients one would be an hourly base breakdown. So it's not quite ready. The VFS has a one, two, three, four. So short under the little shelf, stop above it and target would have to be 640. Okay, not very good. The bearish list is not very good. VTNR is a base breakdown, but extended far from the 20 
under the lows, stop above. So you check, so when I say under the lows, you go and check and see what the lowest low is and then under it. In this case, it's 220, stop over 247. And then the WOW is breaking down. Uh, this is probably a nice weekly chart. Yeah, that's a really nice weekly chart. The problem with it is that we have three or so red bars in a row on the daily chart. So I'm not ready to do any of the shorts, to tell you the truth. I did do the BW on Wednesday, I think. And that's, yeah, that, that's looking good. It's not too late if you wanna jump in it. I'm in it. Um, but yeah, it's the same concept as the as the W on the weekly. It's base break breakdown, but also similar to the, the WOW, it's got three red bars in a row, except this thing hasn't really moved that much. So the entry was under 40, I think, under this base right here, under 42. So, you know, 20 cents basically. So it's moved about 20. All right, that will do it for this week. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did enjoy it and found benefit, leave a comment. I'll respond to it personally. If you want to, would rather email, e email me or T3, info at T3live.com and make sure to like the video for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. And I wish you all the best. I'll see you on the next video. Take care, everybody. Ciao.